All right, uh, with question seven, if we start off with direct substitution, if we try to plug this in, um, the cosine at pi over two is zero, so all of that goes to zero. The sine of pi over two is one, so you end up with two minus two, which goes to zero. So we hope that we don't get zero over zero, by the way. If it's not zero over zero, we don't have to do all this mess of stuff. We just get the answer, basically. So that's why we want to check that. We, we're hoping that we don't get that. But now when I look at this, I know I need something to cancel, and I have to be creative. So we are splitting this into small parts for you as best that we can. Factoring is our focus on day one. Today we're focused on conjugate and trig identities. Well. There's no square roots in this, so it's probably not a conjugate thing. I'm not saying 100% because you never know until you're done. But if I look at the bottom, I could say, well, I could factor out a 2, I guess. I could factor out a GCF. I don't know if that's helpful or not, but I can do it. And then the top, you've got to see, and again, this is why we did those trig proofs last semester. If sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, then you need to realize that cosine squared, you could switch that with 1 minus sine squared. And if you don't see that, then that means you don't know this identity well enough. Like, that's the whole point of it. There's never going to be times in your life where someone says, hey, you need to do this, and by the way, you need to use that. It's not like that. It's You need to know it well enough that you can see it and recognize it. Now, these two still don't cancel because these aren't the exact same thing. But you've got a big hint. You know the denominator is pretty much set in stone. It's 1 minus sine x. So somewhere in the numerator, I need a 1 minus sine x. So right here, if you factor this, this is the difference of two squares. You've got 1 being squared on the left. You've got sine being squared on the right. And difference of two squares is always a plus and a minus. So then these cancel. And as soon as those cancel, you should start to feel like you're almost done. Plug it back in and see what you get. You get 3 times 1 plus the sine of pi over 2. So it looks like 3 should be your answer. So the same thing happens in calculus. Like, yeah, you might know that identity. You might know how to factor the difference of two squares. You know how to reduce fractions. But if you can't see that that's what you need to do, or if you don't see that that's something that you can try, then calculus is super frustrating. Because I can't just always tell you do this, and then do this, and then do this. I can't do that for you in every question. OK, anything else about number seven while it's up there? And just to be clear, like I don't expect you to instantly know to factor out a GCF or instantly know to switch this identity. But at some point, if you don't know what else to try, those things have to cross your mind as something worth trying instead of giving up.